Hey guys! In this video, we're going to learn all about text in HTML. When creating a web page, tags, known as markup, are added to a page's content. Tags give meaning to the content. There are two markup types, structural markup and semantic markup. Structural markup refers to the headings and paragraphs in a web page. Semantic markup refers to the elements used to give meaning to the content within a web page. So now, let's look at the web page's structural markup. Let's start off with headings. In HTML, there are six levels of headings, H1 all the way to H6. H1 is used for main headings, H2 is used for subheadings, and H3 is used for headings within the subheadings and so on. By default, these headings are displayed as different sizes in web browsers, with H1 being the largest and H6 being the smallest. After headings comes paragraphs. Paragraphs are easily made by using the opening p-tag and the closing p-tag and putting paragraph content within them. By default, each new paragraph will be shown on its own line with a spacing in between. Inside paragraphs, we can add a variety of visual cues to the text. Just like when you're writing a document, you can make the text bold by using an opening B tag and a closing B tag, or italic by using the opening and closing I tags. You can even make superscripts using the sub tag and subscripts using the sub tag. Line breaks and horizontal rules only use one tag. As a result, there are what we call empty elements. To add a line break inside a paragraph, use the BR tag. When making a thematic break, like starting a new topic, you would use the horizontal HR tag. Both tags are written using a space and a forward slash. See? Only one tag is needed. Now that we know more about a web page's structural markup, Let's look at a web page's semantic markup. As stated earlier, the semantic web page gives meaning to content in the web browser, unlike the tags used in the structural markup, which is more visual. Unlike the bold B tag, using the strong element tells the browser that this text has a strong importance in the paragraph. By default, this appears to be bolded. Unlike the italics I tag, Using the emphasis element tells the browser to emphasize on the text in the paragraph. By default, this appears as italics. To add quotations to a web page's content, you can use the Q element for short quotes and the block quote element for longer quotes. There are also elements for abbreviations and acronyms, citations, definitions, and even for addresses. So, I hope you learned a little more about using text in HTML. Now you know about structural and semantic markup and their differences. You also learned more about elements and tags you can incorporate into your HTML code. Now go ahead and try out these tags and elements in your HTML code. Have fun and thanks for watching! Hit the like button if this video helped and subscribe for more videos just like this.